Hello guys, this is going to show you why you should recut objects when you export them into Moai and Plasticity or just CAD in general. And real quick guys, if you want to learn this awesome new program called Plasticity, I've got a course for you in the description. It's the first link there and it's got a lot of awesome content. It's got over 42 hours of educational content. It's got a tree cutting mix. It's got a police robots, uh, Omega, uh, SMGs, Cyborg Ninjas and much more. So be sure to check that out. So. This does not apply if you're working with solid objects. So for example, you know, if you have a solid object like this, uh, watertight, waterproof, you don't have to, uh, you don't have to recut it when you export because um, you can just kind of, you know, cut this apart and do your panel lines and all details. However, if you're going to do an object that's like something like this, that, you know, is some sort of like panel armor. So uh, a lot of times what I like to do guys is uh, in Max or Blender or something like that, I like to go ahead and make some sort of panel like this. Right, I'm going to go ahead and then detach that as clone. I'm going to go ahead and shell that. So actually, uh, I'll show you two methods. One is something like this. And then another one is where you actually just have a flat surface. So I'll just go ahead and delete the shell. Uh, but the thing is, is that a lot of times you're going to do some more further um, shape adjustment after the shell modifier. So you can go in here, for example, and uh, I want to make this side, for example, more pronounced. So I kind of do something like that. All right. And then maybe I do a little bit of a cut here and uh, straighten that out. All right. And then go ahead and the symmetry that. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and quickly uh, crease this. So the first thing is that we want to make sure this is very sharp here. So I'm going to go ahead and hold control and, and uh, hold control and double click right there. Hold shift and click here to convert to the border edges. And I'll make this uh, perfect sharpness there and uh, I'll go ahead and apply uh, open subdiv here all right so I'm going to export something like this into uh, into Moai for the conversion process because if I if I don't do this then essentially Moai will subdivide it and give me something uh, like this and uh, you know when you export into OBJ, it doesn't really care about creases. So this is what Moai will give me if it's not sharp. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and make it sharp. And that way Moai will turn uh, this uh, into this right here. Without, without all the complexity, of course. So that's number one. Is you want to make sure there's enough density here. And, and I'll also have this object right here. Right here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, export both these objects into an OBJ format. And I'll import that into Moai. In Moai, I'm using version 4. You go into sub D right here, create, and then from file. And then you choose your OBJ file. All right, and that will give me this. And now I'm going to go ahead and export this into the IGES format by using save right here. In plasticity, I'm going to go into import and import that IGES file. All right, here are my two objects. So if your object is flat right here, if you didn't want to do any kind of further detailing after the shell, after the thickness modifier, then you can go ahead and thicken the sheet. And now you've got this right here. And now you've got this volume you can work with. And then you, you can do things like fillet this and you can fillet that as well. So you have all the, all the capabilities of working with, uh, with CAD. The problem is, is that when you export an object with thickness, What's going to happen here, it's not going to treat it the same way. It's not going to remain perfectly sharp here because of the conversion process from polygons to CAD. It doesn't work the same way. So it's always going to be a little bit curved right here. So I can't just select this and fill it this because, you know, it doesn't really work that way. There's, there's going to be a little bit curve right here. So that's why, guys, it's beneficial to recut this. So what I, what I mean by that is I'll create a, a copy of this. And let me just move that back here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and isolate this. And by recutting, what I mean is that we go in here. First, I'll, I'll just press Alt X X to cut this in half to uh, minimize the work. So I'll do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Shift A and I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to kind of uh, uh, recut this, uh, kind of create something that flows along here. And so another another tip for me to you is that when you export from OBJ into into CAD, go ahead and give yourself some extra space here so you can actually cut some things off. Don't make it too sharp, make it a little bit uh, outwards, even a little bit clipping, and that way you can actually have more things to cut away here because 
Otherwise, we have nothing to cut right here. You want to have a little bit of extra territory in the perimeter. Now go ahead and press C and I'll select this object. So now, as you can see, I have recut this object. I can now delete this. So we still get the benefits of having all of our complex uh, uh, shapes done in polygons. But we now have the benefit of being able to select this and uh, fill it that, for example, uh, which we cannot do here because it's already like pre filleted. So like I can now select this and fill it this right here. I can also select this and fill it that right there. As you notice, uh, I can't really do those things with this object here. So by re recutting here, you kind of get uh, more of the sharp capability of working with CAD when it comes to the, uh, the borders here. But you still get all of your custom polygon details here. I can select this, for example, I can press O for offset. And I can uh, work like so. Whereas if I select this and press uh, O for offset, uh, I'm not going to... I'm not really going to get a, as much of a smooth result. As you can see, it's a little bit slower here. So, you know, I still have all the benefits of working with CAD. I can still do uh, lots of nice panel lines here, which I like to do. But in many situations, I think it's, it's a good idea to recut this so you can get that sharpness back here. Thank you. 
All right, guys. So as you can see, uh, after after recutting, you get all the nice benefits of working with CAD when it comes to uh, the edges right here. I right, thank you for watching and take care.